probably asking yourself, what the hell we're looking at over here? Yeah. You know, sort of ran into a small little problem this morning. Ah, oh, this is not going to be a good day. Son of a bitch! I need heat. The stick. I got a five eight friggin' lighter. I don't even have a lighter down here. What the hell? Ah, this is going to be a challenge this morning. I was trying to find me a friggin' cigarette lighter. Jesus Christ, I my mom's got one. This ain't good. I friggin' need heat because it's cold in here. 44 degrees out? Damn. Son of a bitch. It needs like friggin' like auto pilot or something. Alright, I gotta grab a friggin' lighter here and we're gonna show you what we got sitting outside of this door. And it's just a wreck. Begins with a D, ends with a. No, it doesn't begin with a D, it begins with a J. Son of a bitch. Just gave out a good hint. Operation Get Heat. That kind of sort of sucked. Holy shit. This lighter here, it's just, you know, just a regular Zippo, right? Friggin', it was a bitch to try and light that thing. So, it was, it took me about a good 10 minutes to try and find a lighter in my house. Can you believe that? And my parents, well, my mom smokes. Yeah, go figure. Couldn't find a single lighter for the life of me. Luckily, I found my Zippo. Holy shit. That was just already worked out as is. Then the friggin' heater wouldn't kick on. I was like, what, what the hell? You know, I'm like, why isn't this heater kicking on? Friggin' the damn safety on the two wires I capped off. Uh, they came loose. I was like, ah, oh, son of a bitch. Anyway, I got it fixed. That was a bitch and a half to do. I was up at this door again. Just stickered. See the friggin' scene? You can see the daylight. This piece here keeps getting bent over for some reason. I don't know what the deal is, but it's one side of the door. Like, Nice and tight. Somewhat. Oh, no. I must have fixed it. I don't know. Anyway, so. Today is Thursday. Finally got the day right. I don't even know what I said yesterday. I might have got it right. I think yesterday is Wednesday. But, uh, yeah. So, here's what's going on today. This guy here, with or without PJ, I'm firing this son of a bitch up and I'm driving it. Uh, I was going to get a belt for it. Uh, throw some oil in it. I drained the oil in it last night. I gotta weld up an exhaust, and uh, that's pretty much about it. But I'm gonna weld up the exhaust first. Um, then we got a little bit, of, a little bit of a green infestation going on here. I show you. Don't look too, too bad, right? You know. Yeah. We gotta fix that. So it's a John Deere LT155. Uh, apparently, it's got electrical issues. Electrical issue. How do you open this? So, we somehow got to pipe bypass all these safeties, which is going to completely suck. Because I have no idea. Look at all the wires in this thing. Holy shit. There's a lot of wires. A couple of relays and safeties and looks like that caught on fire at one time. Oh, that was going to be a fun day. I'm sure I should have just stayed in bed. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. So I have to fix this today. I have no idea even how to begin. That's clearly caught on fire. A couple times. Like that wire's burnt off right there or missing. Uh, I don't even know where to begin, dude. I think I'm gonna be passing on this job. Yeah, I have no freaking clue. So many freaking wires. Someone's already spliced into this. Definitely caught on fire, I see. Oh, this friggin' job sucks. Hmm. Yeah. I, I don't even know. I don't even want to know. The things I do just to make a buck. 
Oh, I freaking hate this. John Deere already. I say we just freaking chop it. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, there is no tread left on that tire at all. Wow. I think I need the front end alignment, I'd say. Or two. The jack thing doesn't even go up and down. Where does it? Nope. That sees. This is just a wonderful project. Fuck that thing. I'm going back inside. It's warm. Okay, it's not quite warm in here. We're only went up two degrees. Son of a bitch. Anyway, so that's what we got going on. We got a fucked up deer out right there, and we got this stupid ass thing to work on. Even though it's not that stupid. Because the other stupid thing is more stupid to work on. I want to work on this. I don't want to work on that deer. That thing's a freaking piece of shit. Fuck that thing. Anyway, I'm going to weld me up some pipes. Oh yeah, like uh, Peter's little redneck welding stand. Harbor Freight little uh, cart there. Mm-hmm. That's what we're dealing with. Oh yeah. Alright, time for an exhaust update. So, here's where it's going on. Here's what I somehow come up with. I ended up cutting the... Uh, uh, where is it? Right here. This guy, completely clean. Uh, just like so. And pretty much where it's going to get mounted is like this, you know, just sounded like a regular. Only backwards, pretty much, just as we put backwards. Alright, so, this came off like that, and I got to weld an extension up to it that comes across, and uh, should work out pretty good. Uh, I thought I was going to be able to sleeve it. The pipe that I had is a little bit different to this newer pipe, so I can't really sleeve it as well as I thought I was going to be able to. Only, yeah, it's the pipe that I have, I just won't be able to sleeve it. Plain and simple. Um, the other stuff is a little bit thinner. But anyway, so this is what it's going to look like due to the fact that this is now reversed, now backwards from an overhead valve model. I have to put a little spacer in there. No big deal. Uh, obviously, we get a little spacing there. That's why I've gone ahead over here. And, uh, where is it? Where's the frig? I just had it. Oh, I put it up here. Um, this guy right here. Bam, bam. So this guy get welded up like this. Straight across. Made even. And then it'll just connect into that guy. And weld that up. And she's good to go. Just like that. So, should work out pretty good. Um, <coughs> haven't really found any problems yet that I really haven't noticed yet. You just got to keep the metal clean on the pipes because you really, really want, like, this is like your main important weld is these, these two welds I'm going to weld in. You really want the metal to be clean. Obviously, you can see this stuff here is pretty pitted. So, I had to grind it down quite a bit. Plain and simple. So, go ahead and weld that up. Weld that up on there. And then we'll grind her down. Make her all nice and nice. And away she goes. But, um... One thing I noticed, Freddie and I woke up this morning, I went on the YouTubes there. My video didn't upload last time. It stopped at like 81% or 82%. I'm not really sure what the hell happened there. Uh, I haven't gone in the house yet to see if it uploaded. I think YouTube might be having a problem. If not, it's that new movie edit maker thing that I used. And that shit's pretty damn slow. So, we'll have to wait and see how this video comes out. The, this video that I'm going to render tonight. Hopefully that video gets uploaded and... Well, it's flying here. The hell? Haven't you hibernated yet? Um, hopefully everything, you know, renders good tonight and everything gets uploaded, but I think YouTube itself having, having the problem of uploading, because I haven't noticed a vlog in life yet, hasn't uploaded a video yet, and he's usually already had his video up before mine. So, yeah. I think they're uh, having a little bit of a problem. I think they're changing the, the layout on the thing, so. Anyway, back to work I go. Yeehaw! i tell you what guys, this new welder that I got, holy shit does it make life a lot easier welding up these pipes. If I'd known it was going to make this easier, I would have bought one a long time ago. I didn't even really even have to ground down any uh, like splatter marks. Like That's pretty damn good for an exhaust pipe that you're never really going to see. I usually grind them completely smooth, like what I kind of did on the top here. Yeah, doesn't even need it. Awesome. So, pretty much in order to weld this unit up, you have to, no matter what you do, no matter what lawnmower, lawn tractor, monster truck, whatever, well, you, I'm sure you'll be fine, a monster truck, 
but when you're doing friggin' this kind of work, you have to weld the first couple of welds on the tractor. Make sure your angles are right. If you're off a sixteenth to a quarter, you're gonna get fucked, you know? Um, so this guy here is a kind of a bitch to get in. I mean, oh, rather. Let me try and put it back in, if I can remember how I did it. Cornered it one way, and... Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. This guy was in the way. There we go. Drop that down. Okay. Ooh, that's a little warm there. There we go. Son of a bitch, what the frig? I got this thing out of here. Holy. I know I got the, I took this thing out of here, but now I can't get the thing to go back in. Nope, that's not how it goes. Alright, I gotta figure this out. Battery's getting low on this thing. Yeah, that's a little warm. What the frick? I took it out. Should just slide back up and in. What the hell? I don't think it expanded since I took it out. I don't know, I'll figure it out. Honestly, guys, I don't even know how I get this thing out of here, because right now, I got the friggin' pipe stuck in the damn hole. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy crap. Like, you use this like a friggin' push bar, pull bar now. Yeah. I think I have to pull the engine out of this thing now. Son of a bitch! The freak. I slid it in this way, and then it went like, oh, nope, that's it. What the frig? All right, well, that was interesting. So, I got her on. Pretty much what I ended up doing was, uh, well, I grazed a little bit off the, uh, the cylinder head there. You can't, you can't sort of see the shavings. This is all what I took off. Just the fins. It's getting hung up on. I don't even know how I get it out. If I, if I get it off, I should be able to get it back in. Am I correct? Just saying. Anyway, so it's all on. Good as gonna get. I got a little brace here. Boom. Should hold the pipe in pretty good. And, um, you know, should work out pretty good. Oh, damn, that's friggin' hot. Just welded that son of a bitch. A fucking heater. Just rattling all day. But it's, you know, it's pretty strong. It ain't going anywhere. Son of a bitch, I thought I had it. Um,. But my job's pretty much done. All I gotta do is just run down to uh, uh, Eastern Bearings there, grab a belt, throw some oil in her, and uh, it's good to, good to go. It's gonna wash her today, but I think it's just a little cold out to wash something, considering it's only like 42 degrees out or something ridiculous. So, yeah, so that's what we got going on now. So, yeah. I'm gonna throw and dump some oil in her. And uh, Peter should be here shortly. And uh, I'm still deciding what I'm gonna do with this this dicker deer. This deer looks like I ran over by a deer. Holy shit. Got kicked in by one. It's just a mess. It's just a mess. I don't even want any part of this. <laughs> Junk. People will laugh as we go to the tractor races and we have a nice tractor. Crank her up. Three inch in the rear. for this guy. Alright, we'll get him when he comes back down.
And he is pushing the tractor back. <laughs> what happened, buddy? Watch out, there's a car behind you. Car behind you. <laughs> What happened? What happened? Huh? It fell off. So you couldn't put it back on? What? You couldn't put it back on? <laughs> Behind you, car, <Connor>, dude. <laughs> We're so gonna get a ticket <laughs> by the end of the night. <laughs> uh. Alright, well we've learned today that this thing hauls ass pretty good. So BJ is just downloading this app on my phone. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's going to tell us how fast it should go. Uh, we, got, we got 160 miles an hour to go. 160 we're hoping for. What? Not really. We're hoping to redline the uh, speedo at 160. Yeah. Redline it. We did figure out that the pulley in the front here needs to be dropped down about an eighth of an inch. Uh, a, small belt. a belt could be smaller by two inches, maybe an inch. I might have fucked up there, but... Other than that, it's, it's all good. The belt just slips off of it. But uh, it, it hauls ass pretty good, I can tell you that. How are you going to uh, should we duct tape my phone to the dash there? Or? You should probably duct tape it, huh? Just put a... Uh... Yeah. Piece of roll of electrical tape. What do I do with the electrical tape? I don't know. I'll set the top speed at 30. Are you going to duct the camera there? <laughs> duct tape the camera. <laughs> put it like right in the snow, right in the speed. Uh, I was going to put it right in the middle. I'm going to give that a shot. And then we'll go one in the front. Put, put one right in the, on the power button, like two. Mm -hmm. Do one right here. Right here. That's good. And then I'll do two across. That's redneck ingenuity with technology. <laughs> redneck ingenuity with technology. All right. <laughs> that should work. I hope your screen doesn't shut off. I hope friggin' you better catch that phone when it falls. I got another week to go on that thing. Shouldn't fall. Should I put a piece in the front, maybe? Put a, put a piece going like curve around the front and back. Back the cable works. Put a piece in the back too. Maybe. Yeah. Okay, now it shouldn't fall. There we go. There we go. Unless the hood falls off. That's freaking redneck. I gotta get a photo of this. <laughs> Alright, I got a capture shot. Alright, go for it. Okay, I'm on the door. Hope the van's not there. No, it's not. Damn it, it just got warm here, too. That's hip. Go. Installed it. <laughs> Headlights. Headlights. He just burnt the belt out, I bet. Belt. I got the like, it peaked at 13. And I popped it. Yeah. Hold that. 
Can I leave it along with this clutch? Alright, uh, go ahead, press it. You're already pressed. Maybe so. You're all set. I am? Yeah. What happened? I don't know. <laughs> and then I hope the transmission didn't go. I think it did. If not, we'll be rebuilding that now. Let's see how well he does. Look at the friggin' field. Ah, oh, shit, he blew the belt out again. I think he's done, buddy. I think we gotta get some new belts. That's hip. Alright, let's push her back. Alright, let's just push it back. We'll do it another day. Hold on, let's see if we can get let's see what the top speed is when we push it. Okay, you got the wheel? Alrighty. Oh my shoes. Two, two, six, seven. <laughs> oh, no, turn, 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 turn. turn. Oh, oh. oh she's okay. crashing into the fence. Three. <laughs> this thing is dangerous, dude. Gear, gear, gear. There you go. Okay, we need a bigger belt. I mean, a smaller <laughs> belt. Like, okay, three, five, shoelace, shoelace. Alrighty. Oh my god. That was something else. That was very much. <laughs> that wasn't coming off there. Uh. Alright. Who is Ooh, it's rippling. It's rippling the heat coming off the engine. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. Or because we just crushed it. One or the other. Yeah, so we gotta adjust that fully. Oh yeah, it slid off just a teeny bit. I'm talking just a really teeny bit actually. What? It slid off just a really teeny bit. Yeah, that's all it was. Press the clutch. See it, that belt, that bolt that we put in, starting to get hung up on that. Who's all right, tape release. Yeah, that's what it is. We gotta get it. Oh. I hear a UPS man. I need my parts are here. Woo! Uh, let's see. Here it is. Try that. The UPS man. Gee, I wonder what could possibly be in here. Any guesses? Parts! I got an engine to rebuild tomorrow. And it's sitting right next to it. Look at that. You guys are getting quite the video today. Alright, let's see. Alright, let's see. This is only like $170 worth of parts in here. Only. But we're still missing two because Jack's small engine's a piece of shit. Alright, there's the connecting rod. Alright, what is this? This is the piston ring clamp. Let's see what this looks like. Yep, that would make sense. Hey, yep. Hey, got it? Yeah, but after a while, it just pops right up. Yeah, it'll turn it, but it eventually no, pops. I, I take it like much. 
Oh. Yep. Yep. So I'll scare us good to this one. Piston ring. Oh, I just put this back in there. Wire ties? In your section. You're the wire tie man. Hey, look what I find, Regut. What, you found the Regut? Regut that we think that could. Ah. Yeah, should make, ah. should make life a little easier now that we don't have to get electrocuted. Because yeah. I you know who stole it. Freaking goof. Air filter. Paper. And receipt. Bam! $171.37. What a ripoff. Well, I guess those will be tomorrow's video. We're building the uh, engine. I'm going to take a look at this piston here. supposed to look like. Nice and shiny. Look how shiny that piston is, PJ. Shiny? Shiny. Brand new. I wish they already put the rings on it, though. So those are the rings. That'll be fun. That's it. Look at that. Perfect fit. Sweet! It was like Christmas morning. So what? Did it. Oh yeah? We'll soon find out come this weekend when you go to redrive it again. And the thing isn't certain. Yeah, I think that float's stuck wide open. I can smell it like crazy. I can just smell it, yeah. I bet you we got to uh, okay. put an on off, son of a bitch. Right yeah. Where's the uh, vice grips? Here's one. The float's probably stuck. There we go. How does the engine look, by the way? Did you notice it? No more ah, crossing. Like on the side, no more rust either. Yeah. Clean it up. Push it, touch it. Press it in. Okay, like it. Somewhat done. I even know it drives. We know it drives, and the real engine runs. We know it doesn't blow up transmissions, hopefully. We'll find out when you put a uh, new key in. Yeah. Actually, you need like a roll bar and a five-point harness. Possibly. And a helmet. I think we're going to get, I think I want to get Dwayne right. I want to go, hey, put it in six gear for me. Something doesn't feel right. And see what he does. I bet he'll probably fucking pop a wheelie. Do it in first, because fresh is so torquey. 